Right guys, I've got some absolute peaches to open up here. Some mail that has come through the door, some post if you will. I don't know what it is, I know it's video game stuff. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Two of them are CEX Roulette, of course they are, because that's probably what we've gone for for the thumbnail. So I wasn't sure when I was recording this, what I was gonna call the video. Anyway, so we'll leave those two for the end. So there's two CEX games, or should we do it first? Shall we do it first? No, we'll leave it to the end. CX Roulette will have to wait. So I have got here, this is a Switch game, because it's small, you can tell from the size. No idea what it is. Um, there's a little Pikachu at this one. See what we got. Right, here we go. Metroid Prime finally came. My last, like, two pickup videos, or maybe three. <laughs> I kept on saying, I'm sure it's this game, I'm sure it's this game. It's finally here. Got a little packaging from the Nintendo store. Bosh. So we got it, Metroid Prime. Um, it's been out for a, a fair few weeks, I'm sure. So I'm sure everyone else has played it, other than myself. But yeah, looking forward to playing it because I've got it on the GameCube, but confessions, I haven't actually played it yet. So I'm gonna go straight in, dry, and play Metroid Prime without lubing her up and seeing what it's like. Um, if I don't like it, then I guess the GameCube version will get sold and moved on. Um, what have we got here? Which ones are the CEX ones? Right, this can't be CEX. I think this is an NES game. I remember ordering an NES game. It feels like an NES game, but it's from eBay. But I do not know. Um, I can't remember what game it is. Um, the reason why I ordered it off eBay is just one that popped up. You know, you've got your save searches or whatever on like bundles and stuff or games. And it was good value for the title. Wasn't something I was particularly dying to get hold of. Hello, I remembered. Robocop. It's just because they are good games. Robocop games are awesome. Shout out to Terminator in the background from the last video. Um, but yeah, Robocop versus Terminator is awesome on the uh, Mega Drive. Is it the Mega? Yeah, it is a Mega Drive, isn't it? But yeah, Robocop on the... I don't know if this is direct port from the arcade, but the Robocop arcade game, I'm assuming this is the port of it, exactly the same. It's awesome. Uh, but the Robocop games, all of them are very good. And yeah, it just came in lovely box complete condition, as you can see. And I just thought it would be silly not to get it because it was it was just an awesome deal. There she is. So yeah, Robocop, awesome to have that. Shout out to Mr. Retro Ed UK because he is a big Robocop fan. Um, he loves his Robocop, especially in the arcade. Um, so I'm sure he's played it on many different ports, 8-bit versions. So yeah, so awesome to have that. I'll get a little box protector on it and I'll keep that um, and I'll swap out maybe a couple of NES games just to get the funds back. But yeah, awesome, man. Robocops, really happy with that. It's a cracking deal. Um, the price I've got for all these games, I'll pop up in the corner. Obviously, Metroid Prime, we know that's a straight sale from pre-order, so we paid for whack. Uh, Robocop, though, I'll pop it in the top corner so you can see how much we paid for it and you can let me know if I'm a mug or not. Um, but I was very happy with getting that at that price. Okay, so these two are probably CEX. This could be C. We don't know, do we? We do not know. Hold on, we do know because it says it in the corner. Right, them two are CEX. These two are CEX. Different sizes, interesting. Um, this could be CEX. We'll find out in a minute. What have we got? An Xbox 360 game. I saw Konami in there. I don't know what this is, to be honest with you. Ah, I do. I got it off of eBay. So Silent Hill, I'm trying to play them in order. I didn't play them when I was younger. Um, I love Silent Hill on a PlayStation 1. I've got many different Silent Hills, but I'm just trying to fill the gaps and play them in order. Um, so I've played a lot of Silent Hill. I've got stuck. Same thing with Resident Evil, you know, playing through them. I'm on the third one now. Um, but I'm about to go on to Silent Hill 2. Um, and I was just filling the gaps because the price has just gone a bit silly. I knew I picked up for dirt cheap Homecoming. Very, very cheap. Before that, like, doubled or whatever it did in price. Um, anyway. But yes, so Silent Hill Downpour. I managed to pick that up. Again, I'll show you the price in the top corner. But very good copy, which was all complete. I was pretty much happy with the condition. But saying that, is the spine always look like that? Does the spine always? I don't know. But um, anyway, I'm happy with it. It wasn't to, to sell or anything, is it? It's just to have. So, so yeah, awesome, man. So it looks almost reprinted cover. Is it? I don't know. 
But yeah, I'll pop up in the corner so you can see how much I paid for it. It was just one of my, I've got all the Silent Hills on safe searches on eBay. Um, but unless one comes up cheap, that came up a bit, you know, complete, good condition, fair price. I thought I'd bite the bullet and, and get it. So yes, yeah, so I've got that. So awesome stuff. Now onto the CEX Roulette. So this is a Xbox game. I'm pretty sure I saw it, I saw it from a video that Retro Ghetto done. Um, I'm sure Callum's been mentioning some games he reckons will probably go up in value. Um, and basically I wrote those games down, hit save searches. Of course they were sold out. But a couple came in stock, which probably means someone's cashed in and just sold their one, I imagine. Because they came in stock at the same time, or their two copies. So they might be missing manuals. The person might have sold the manual separately or got rid of a shitty case. You don't know what he's chopped and changed in. Um, but saying that, they feel different way. I'm gonna go with this one. Oh, I'm gonna go with this one. Tab down. Um, I can't remember the name of the game. I know it's like a helicopter game. You know like Soviet Strike and Jungle Strike, one of those ones where you're piloting a bit of aviation, a helicopter. It feels heavy. Definitely a manual in it. Definitely a manual in it. I'm sure it was Retro Ghetto. Um, that mentioned this game. He mentioned loads of games. And the other person I was watching was Party Game Network. He mentioned some games which were going up in value and once you get hold of this already looks in amazing condition and it feels weighty. So the game is, I'll keep that down there, is Under Defeat HD Deluxe Edition. Um, I haven't played the game at all. Looks foreign as hell. We'll have to check it out. We'll have to check it out. Um, it looks it looks too like obviously you guys can't tell, but like the feel of it, that is so minty. That is a fresh case. That is like fresh case. Suspiciously fresh, I would say. And like the back, I don't know, is that normal? I feel like that's power, but not not the good power, bad power. <laughs> that's bad power. Yeah, I don't know. It feels heavy, so I knew there was a manual. That is bloody hell. Hold on. Are we in a jackpot. There might be two manuals in there. Let's check it out for a CX roulette. So far, spot on. I didn't even know this game came with two discs. Wow. So hold on, I didn't even know this. So Under Defeat HD Deluxe Edition. This is immaculate. This is bizarre that it's been traded in like this. It's very confusing. Um, yeah, that's absolutely beautiful. Um, I didn't realise it came with a second disc, which is a soundtrack CD. Obviously, I'm sure... Well, I guess that's a deluxe edition, isn't it? So maybe without this, you can't trade it in because it's not deluxe. Um, yeah, so it comes with a CD. The soundtrack. No idea what the soundtrack is, guys. I apologise if you're a big fan of this game. I, I never have heard of it until I saw... I'm sure it was Callum's video. Until I saw Retro Ghetto mention it. Um, and, yeah, so this game... Say, for example, this game is £15 on CEX. On eBay, it's like 30 to 40 quid. So it's at least double. And there's only a few. People are holding on to them. So it's one of those ones that is a bit scarce. It's quite rare to get hold of. Um, there isn't a lot on eBay. Sometimes games go out of stock on CEX, and yeah, you'll pay double. Say it's a £10 game, there'll be 20, 25 quid available on eBay, but there'll be loads. But this, even though, yeah, you was paying, I'm sure it's 15 quid game. Again, the price will be up there. Apologies, my memory slipped me, um, and I'll show you how much they're going for eBay. But it was only like half a dozen for, on eBay, and it was double the price of this, and it was only like half a dozen. So um, that is, if that is legit and not like reprinted cover, that's an absolute win because it's got the booklet in there. So I didn't show you how thick the booklet is. I thought it was like two. It's that thick. That is weighty. Girthy, some might say. That is a big book. Um, but yeah, I don't know much about this game. So I might do a little gameplay in a minute. And we'll just see what it's like. But yeah, it looks awesome, man. A bit like Soviet Strike, that sort of thing. Jungle Strike. Um, but yes, that looks absolutely... So that is 100% a win. You know, unless you guys see anything suspicious. Obviously, I've not owned the game. So let me know. Is there anything sus about that copy? I've got a funny feeling this might be the same thing. Because my slippery fingers all do two of the same games sometimes. Because part of me thinks, what if one game's rubbish and I lose out the other one? And also, sometimes I just, I have ordered the same game twice. I'm not going to beat around a bush. Right, let's put these back in case I need to take Uno back. I might have to take one back, mightn't I? So two came up available, and I brought both for two. Right, this one has got CEX stickers on it. The other one didn't. It's light. I know there's no manual. That's mad. I know there's no manual. I can compare them. Okay, the good news is 
same foreigny gobbledygook on the back, so I know it's probably legit. Not only is it light, I think that's a one disker. Right, so there we go. You can see how much it is, an £18 game. That's how much it costs a CX, and this is how much they're going for on eBay. No manual for one thing. So I'll be pissed off if this was the only copy I got. No manual, but also only one disc. One disc. No extra bonus CD. So if I did just get one game, that CX roulette would have got gone one way. It would have been either... No, no manual. I wouldn't have known about the bonus disc, don't get me wrong, because I didn't know. But the bot it's still minty condition. I think it's the same guy. It's still kept in immaculate condition. But we've hit an absolute win there because the other one is is it's also both cases are minty, but obviously it's got the bonus disc and the manual, so um, one of them will be going back. So if one does appear in stock, guys, just beware. That it is. It's, I'll show you the disc. Like, if you're happy for it without the bonus disc, it's immaculate. The disc again, guys, really good disc. I mean, I'll think about it. Depending on how rare it is, I might keep hold of it and give it to a mate who wants it, who's looking for it. But yeah, guys, let me know. Under the feet HD the Deluxe Edition, have you played it? Have you owned it for a while? Is it on your want list? Um, obviously, it's one people are trying to get hold of. It's got a lot of mentions about Xbox Live. So maybe it's a fun multiplayer game. I don't know. I might put some play this game now and put some footage on at the end of the video. That's probably what I'm going to do because I'm not going to play Silent Hill and I want to get into Prime. Um, and I'm playing. I'm. I can only get heavily invested in two or three Switch games at a time, and I'm heavily invested into a couple at the moment. So I'm going to put these on a back burner. So I've got to get to that plan in order, um, and that's going to go and behind the camera. There's like 30 Switch games stacked up as I'm slowly working through to play. So I think. Let's go check out a bit of Under the Feet Deluxe HD. Under the Feet Deluxe Edition HD. Let's check out some footage of that game. Here we go. First impressions, Under the Feet. Bloody hell, that's loud. Jesus Christ. We was playing Terminator last, and that must have been turned up to the max on the OG Xbox. So, Under the Feet. I'm not bothered about signing in, mate. No, you're all good. So I don't know what it's going to be like. I'm not bothered about this signing in. How do we get away with it? Story Drive has not been selected. That it cannot be saved. Yes. No. Fuck me, we're struggling here from the off, aren't we? Saving. Right, here we go. First impressions of Under Fire for the Xbox 360. New order mode? Arcade mode. Character select. So no order mode must be there like story, mode, career mode, whatever you want to call it. What do we call like? Is it aviation? The pilot? Is it the same name? For helicopters as it is for planes? Let's go arcade. Let's see what it's like. Forcing me with a tutorial here. Um, shoot and bomb. Okay. Is that a man or a woman? You can never tell this day and age. Normal reverse. Normal's fine. Take it that's like up is down, down is up, that sort of crack. Get used to it. Oh, I like how it is. Oh, it's a shoot 'em up. It is a shoot 'em up. Good. Nice little vertical shooter. It's weird though. Normally when like. This is how it'd be displayed on a Switch, you know what I mean? Like, it's been remastered, the screen's not the same resolution, so they have, like, a, a static frame around the game. That is what we've got right now, but this is 360. Sure, this is the original... Unless this was remastered. I don't know. Guys, let me know. Was under... Is it under defeat or under fire? I can't remember. Under defeat. Was this a, a game that was released previously, and this is the remastered? The fact that this is... The deluxe edition, yeah, it is. Look, oh, under defeat HD. So this must be a big game back in the day. Maybe it was an arcade game. So it's a big thing. The fact that Jesus Christ, that is a bomb and a half. I can see why this game is good. The fact that this game has been remastered, it's, it says HD, so you know it's. We do know it's a remastered. Just from that information alone. And it's deluxe edition. What is 
what is extra in this edition to a normal edition, other than the music? Obviously, it's the first time playing it, guys, so we don't know what we're doing. We're pressing start. We're trying to continue. Um, but I do like the old shooting mark. I remember now. You know when something like triggers your memory? I remember now watching it on Retro Ghetto's channel. He'd done a video. He was talking about some games to buy that have gone up in price. Um, and this was one of them from the list. I tried to get hold of all of them from the list, but obviously they were all sold out because he's got a popular fan base. They probably, anyone jumped on it and would have brought any copies. There were. But this game did pop up. Like I said, there'll be one returning to the shelves if you're happy for one to not be complete. I'm not a big, you know, schmuck fan, but I have enjoyed the, you know, Arcade Archives challenge with the R-Type Leo. Um, whenever I'm forced to play a shoot 'em up but I like Scramble. You know the horizontal arcade game? I like that. I like a couple on the Switch. Uh, but yeah, it's not my go-to. Um, these type of games, but you know, I like a classic. I like Galaxia and that sort of thing. Um, so, first impressions, it's fun. But you know, what you get with these games, they're fun, but they're a bit carnage. It's not something you can have a beer with and play. You got to be on your reaction time. But yeah, I didn't realise it was like static frame round the outside. I'm not sure how I feel about this. They couldn't remaster it to the screen. They've left it as it was. They didn't want to stretch it. They were happy how it is. I mean, visually, it's beautiful, isn't it? Obviously, we're only getting five minutes of footage. I don't know if the music changes, but the soundtrack's fine. The gun sounds good. The controls are good. Firepower's good. This is some kind of boss, which I've crashed into. No, the music's good, actually. But yeah, guys, let me know any information you know about this game. It's obviously very popular and sought after, so I'm very happy to have it in the collection. I'm not going to hide it away. If it's not for me, I don't want to, you know, do someone disjustice who wants this game. So if it's not for me, this game, then I will, of course, move it on. Um, but I'm really happy to get hold of it, you know, for the price I have. I'm not going to lose money. I haven't brought it to make money, but at least I can sell it for the same money I brought it on. Do you know what I mean? If I own it for a month, play it and don't like it, I can sell it and get my money back. That's all I want. So, um, so yeah, I'll see. You can tell from my reaction, talking out loud, I'm not sure if this game is for me. As you can tell from me playing it, I'm definitely not very good. We'll have one little quick run through. So I've been blabbering. We'll see how we get on. Let's see how we get on now. Gotta stay away from everyone. Oh, I was, I was looking down at the camera then because my face was out of frame. And then when I did it, I got shot. As if anyone cares what I look like. I don't know how many bombs we get. I don't want to waste them. Oh, I've crashed into him again. No, this is a good game, actually. This is a good game. And we love a high score arcade. In fact, it's a story mode. That's pretty cool as well. Of some extent. This is a good game, man. Now I'm paying attention. Dodging his firepower. Dodging his bullets. Music's cool, man, as well. I've used my rocket there. I had to get rid of him. Oh no, we've died again. How do I start? Start, obviously. <laughs> How do I start? Start. We've got bomb, we've got cannon. What other buttons is there then? Oh, it's quite hard, isn't it? It's quite hard, giggity. That is what she said. Vulcan option. But yeah, I'm not sure if this, you know, like if this one on the Switch, I'd sit here playing it, but like sitting in the corner of the room playing some retro games, I don't know if this is a game I would go to. It does feel more like it should have a joystick. It's more of an arcade game, isn't it? I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to look up. I'm going to look up the origination of this game. 
and see what it came out with. What is this a port and remaster of? Um, obviously, guys, I'm crap at this. There's no point in me going to keep playing. But anyway, let me know under the feet. Um, let me know what you think about this game. Obviously, we know it's a fantastic result from um, CX Roulette. Um, so it's a no-brainer. I've got it in perfect condition. So I know I won't lose any money. I can get my money back, get it back to CEX. I'll sell it to someone else who wants it. Superb. Or I could even stick it on eBay, be a dickhead, make 20 quid on it, um, which would be easy enough to do overnight, I'm sure. So let me know, guys. Have you played this game? It's a good game, obviously, because everyone wants it. What's so great about it, guys? Fill me in. Please enlighten me, because I don't really know. Um, because I am absolutely rubbish at it. And that's all I'm going to say. I'm shit at this. Welcome to Marathon Gaming.